bate na carne ao ritmo bom Enterra a navalha no branco do sol Azul tão profundo amor Que baixa em mim domingo Os filhos de Gandhi mostram como é Poxa, que me fez apaixonar Pelo água gozumindo Dez total Os filhos de Gandhi são O sonho dos mais perigosos Meu irmão, minha mulher, me dê a mão Eu não sei de muito não Eu não trago a solução Minha grandeza Minha grandeza
magiar meu coração Que sois o sonho dos mais perigosos Inadiável coração Em doido horizonte batas Numeroso minha grandeza Minha grandeza Minha grandeza Minha grandeza Passa de mim, se afasta de mim Passa de mim, se afasta de mim Às vezes a vida 
se arma a briga e te joga no chão. Às vezes, querida, pra achar uma saída A gente cava com a mão É o bem, é, é tudo que nem tem Explicação Eu fico sem entender Como que a vida faz Tanta ferida mais Mas ainda faz
Hey everyone, Mathieu Schreier here on MBE KCRW, sitting in with uh, the one and only Brazilian artist, Cessa. First album, Grandeza, just came out, and we're here to celebrate the release of this wonderful first LP. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you, Mathieu. It's a pleasure to be here. You know, it's a pleasure to have you. It's just We just uh, finished watching um, you play five songs. So you recorded this while you were on the road playing with other bands? Yeah, I was touring, you know, as a musician uh, for other projects. And I, you know, touring sometimes displaces you a lot, you know. So I started going back to this, you know, Brazilian nylon guitar, the songs, you know. It was a period uh, without really writing songs when I was just kind of like playing, you know, more like gig style. And... Um, so I started to like, you know, go back to writing in between those tours. And that's how I was like piecing the the album together, you know, across a few years. Did you record to tape, like analog? Yeah. yeah. Oh, very cool. And yeah. then bounce on like Pro Tools and... Yeah, and then I like worked on a computer to, you know, arrange a bit better, you know, like... And, and then I mixed uh, in New York, like on... Like three days, I mixed the record. Yeah, yeah you. Uh, I read in your bio you moved to New York with your parents after high school. Yeah, I, I moved with my family to Brooklyn, uh, to Midwood. You know, like a Sephardic Jewish neighborhood in <laughs> Russian. It's very interesting to get out of you know São Paulo, and and you know in a way moving out from São Paulo to New York felt like I was going to a smaller <laughs> city, which is crazy <laughs> it's kind of crazy but yeah i heard that about yeah. sao paulo but it was great you know like i it was a very important uh period for me to like experience music in new york you know like the record stores i work at a record store there. that's right you work with joel stones i work with joel he's tropical and furs dear friend and a big influence in this album for sure is there a lot of New York influence in your uh, in your records? Like I when think you were so. Yeah. I think the New York really opened up, opened me up for the more kind of like noisy type of free jazz type of stuff, which I think describes some of Chaos. the yeah, <laughs> and kind of like there's a lot, so many musical movements that reflect that you know. You know, across the years, if you think of, you know, Moondog or No Wave Artists. So even nowadays, you know, all the Loft musicians, William Parker still plays a lot. So I saw a lot of that stuff. I didn't see Moondog. But yeah, but you saw that <laughs> yeah. stuff. But that, that would affect you for sure. Yeah. I love a first album from an artist because I always think that the first album is the one that you took your entire life to write. Right, yeah. Before the second one, it's to be, oh, I need to just do another yeah, album. Yeah, the yeah. first one is like all those songs, you've been writing them since you're probably very young, mm -hmm. or maybe ideas. Is there any songs in there that you wrote around that time or that you started thinking about um, at an earlier age? Not not so young, like when I just moved to New York, you know. But I wrote a lot of the songs in New York, you know. The record has like a, a bit of a tropical vibe, but a few of them were like, you know, some like, really serious snow <laughs> winter in my tiny room. I felt room, that in one, the one song with a lot of horns in it, it's... Um, Tanto? Yes. Yeah. And um, it felt like it was very... Um, like, all the album is very sparse. There's a lot of room, and I felt a lot of love. And I was reading in your bio, it's about Good. the movement of love. And I was telling uh, Mary Shelmy, our producer, when we were talking about this interview, I was telling her how, to me, this album is so important now because it's so loud, the news, the mm. world is so chaotic. Sometimes just putting on your album, 30 minutes, you take a break. It's very meditative and wow. you just think about love and mm -hmm. think about just being simple and it's not pretentious. It's just very like, like if you, if you come off as very friendly, mm. you feel like, oh, I can hang out with Cesar for 30 <laughs> minutes. And, Let's hang out. and just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's great. I think music should be like that. It feels very earnest and cool. honest. I appreciate you saying this. But in, in Tanto, I really felt in the middle of that song came a bit of that New York chaos through the mm -hmm. horns, a bit of like dark jazz vibe. Yeah, yeah. And I really love that, how you were able to mix both the right. gentleness and the harshness. Because yeah. New York has gentle 
moments. In Sao Paulo and, too. You know? I'm sure. Yeah, life. Do you, life has do you, co- do you <laughs> compare both of those cities? I know Brazilian people always compare Sao Paulo yeah. to New York and Rio to Los Angeles. Right. I think in rough lines. Yeah, that, it's, it's that pretty accurate. Work, yeah. yeah. But, you know, they're very different. You know, Sao Paulo is very different from New York too, I feel, you know. But yeah, it's kind of like a place where the time has a different kind of like weight. It passes differently and you know, everybody's kind of like a bit more stressed and things like this. I, I, it's a big city. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And actually, I wanted to ask you, is Fios de Gandhi uh, an homage to Gilberto Gil? It's an homage to the drum ensemble that uh, also Gil wrote about. It's a, it's a very important Afro-Brazilian institution in Salvador, like one of the oldest drum ensembles and uh, that, you know, organize parades and things like this. They're, and um, yeah, I wrote after seeing a rehearsal, I was traveling and uh, I went to see them rehearsing and it was very powerful, you know, like um, is this, it's a mix of a bunch of stuff, you know, it has a very kind of like serious almost religious quality to it, you know, like it's all men dressed in white and blue, like playing and dancing, but they're also rehearsing, so they're kind of like screaming at the younger kids, like th- to play on time and stuff like that. But it's just like a Sunday thing, so you can like get a beer in the back, you know, and there's like a bunch of tourists, like I was, you know, and um, and and people that just like are in the community and just go to kind of like dance and Get, get away you know when you think about a song and you hear it on an album with a full band but then you see the artist perform it with just a guitar and you feel the same emotion that's like it's a good song and and you have that you were able to do that on this album every song kind of stands alone and you could rearrange it with a full band and horns and guitars yeah. and make it more rock and it would still work but i like the fact that you committed to have it all stripped down yeah. and presented this way. Because as I was telling you earlier in the interview, we really need that nowadays. I feel it's so chaotic. Mm. There's so much noise. It's nice to have something intimate. Yeah. You know, we need intimacy more. Right. That's lovely. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, it works with the, the pace of life in California as well. Mm. You know, it's just, cool. it's very soothing. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you, man. What a pleasure. Yeah.